think that what we're going to see, if Bounty Hunter can get under the edge of Raging Scotsman, Raging Scotsman is going to go for a ride. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, fight! seconds and then you have to release if he can get that plow underneath and fire it he might get out of there there is the release the bounty hunter escapes back to the center of the road oh. what was that yeah yeah bounty hunter's got to get that arm back underneath so he can get in the position to flip itself over if it can't self right he's done there it is back on its wheels we're back in the game the raging scotsman escapes they're right at the corner. Too risky to try for a flip. They're going to wait for a better position. Raging Scotsman is in a bad position. He's upside down. He's got to just keep pushing Bounty Hunter. Yes. Bounty Hunter might be running low on air. That's why we haven't seen him deploy. He's got to pick and choose when he does that. That's good. Four points. Every time he flips them, that counts towards aggression and damage. It's a good back and forth action between these two heavyweights. <laughs> the flame comes out. We have 15 seconds left in this fight. Ranger Scott's just got to try and score some points here. He can't really do much because he's inverted. This wedge isn't doing anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Time Judges. This is going to be a tough call. Damage and aggression are key. Uh, it went pretty well. Bummer the flamethrower wasn't working. Would have been a lot more fun. The judges have turned in a 19 to 14 decision. The winner, Raging Scotsman! All right, Raging Scotsman's maneuvering has won out over Bounty Hunter's flipping.